Thank you for joining me for week five of the Time Bubble interview series. I am your host, E.J. Borkart. For those unfamiliar with the show, this is a segment that is going to appear each weekend on my blog where I will pick a character from this past week's chapter to interview. I'm going to be pulling these characters from a specific part of the story to talk with them about what they are thinking and feeling about what is going on in the story. Don't worry, they won't remember any of this ever happening, so this won't have any effect on the story. They will be returned to the very moment I borrowed them from, so their absence won't be noticed. This week, I asked General Elemis from Beast Blades to join me for my first interview on my new time, Sunday morning. Thank you for joining me, General. This had better be worth my time. Those tiger by require constant supervision, or else they'll do something foolish. I promise you, General. I will turn you to your story the exact second I took you from. A story? Yes, you are a character from a story I'm writing. Let's try and focus on the interview. I understand that you've recently enjoyed your first victory over the Rebellion. <laughs> Wasn't much of a victory. I took control of an abandoned camp. It could have been a great victory if my scouts hadn't warned the Rebel members that we knew where they were. As the writer, you could have given me and my men that kind of victory. Couldn't you? Of course I could, but that wouldn't fit with the story. We're not here to interview me, though, General. Why don't you tell me about how you felt when Geraldo sent only Acerby to back you up? His name is Lord Geraldo to you. And it was a slap in the face. He doesn't trust me anymore. Me, one of his generals. The only reason that he is where he is today is because of the work that the other generals and I have done. If we left it up to the Azerbai, there wouldn't be anyone left alive for him to rule over. And he can't go out to take care of things on his own. But that can all change. You have the power to make Lord Geraldo trust me again. You could change the story so that I defeat the rebellion, that Aldrich surrenders to me, and I take him and all the leaders back for Lord Geraldo to pass his judgment on. I could, but I would never do that. I think you would with the proper motivation, such as a fireball. <laughs> what are you talking about? My crew made sure that you didn't have any spell tattoos on your body. Your men were quite thorough, but they didn't check everywhere. It always pays to have an emergency spell hidden away. You never know when you might need it. Now are you going to give me what I want, or do I have to end your influence on my world? I think it's time for you to return to your story. <laughs> oh, I'm not going anywhere until you agree to make the changes I have suggested. Perhaps you can make a few more. I'd like to have my eye back for starters. <laughs> Please, there's no reason for this to turn to violence. I disagree. I hope your readers are okay with the cliffhanger ending. He's gone? <clears throat> of course he's gone. I want to thank you all for joining me for a very important time bubble interview. Not only have they moved to a different day, I have also made a new policy. This was my first interview with the villain, and it will be my last. I hope this interview will help shed a little more light on who General Elimus is, and what a jerk he is, and more about the world that he lives in. And I hope that you will join me next week for another Time Bubble interview with a character from the Godard Brothers. If you have a character from the Godard Brothers that you would like me to interview, leave it in a comment down below. The Time Bubble interviews have been brought to you by and paid for by Godard Labs. <laughs>